Hey guys, it's Tracy. Welcome to today's video. I am sharing a spring grapevine wreath with you. Now I do design wreaths and sell them locally in my hometown. So uh, when I have time, I do uh, film it so that I can inspire other wreath makers who are either want to uh, do something like it or just pick up tips and tricks. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you how I created this You Are My Sunshine grapevine wreath. Now I'm starting with an 18 inch grapevine wreath and I have the most luck finding them at either Hobby Lobby or at Michael's. And these are uh, some of the flowers that I'm going to be using. Those either came from Walmart or from Hobby Lobby. The You Are My Sunshine sign is a metal sign that I found at Walmart mm, a few years ago and I'm going to be attaching that to the center of my wreath. I'm also using some of this green eucalyptus from Walmart. Now the greenery uh, that I already had stuck into the grapevine wreath for whatever reason my camera did not film it so I apologize about that but that greenery also came from Walmart. I just cut it apart and just stuck it just glued it into the grapevine in between the twigs. So I cut apart uh, stems of the eucalyptus and I'm dipping them into my glue pot. It's just a little electric skillet that I melt glue sticks in and I like to use the Gorilla brand glue sticks. I do feel that even in the Texas heat, that is where I'm located guys, in the Texas heat, uh, they hold up very well. Now uh, for my metal sign, I have this small hole puncher. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I'll put a uh, picture for you here. Also, you can get it off of Amazon. And what I'm doing is I am just, uh, you know, punching four small holes in there. And then I'm just using some wire and I just attach my sign just with that wire. I thread it through the grapevine and then thread it through the hole. And then what I'm going to do is uh, actually use the wire as part of the decoration. I just use my uh, needle nose pliers just to do some curly cues and uh, actually, you know, secure it. It actually is part of the decoration for my sign. So at the beginning when I pulled out all of the flowers with the pink and uh, kind of like turquoise roses, I was trying to go off of the sign, just pull in colors of the flowers off of the sign. But once I started uh, putting in my greenery and then putting in these yellow flowers from Hobby Lobby, I decided nah, I was not going to use those pink and uh, turquoise roses. I was just going to kind of stick with the greenery and the yellow and the white flowers. Uh, those yellow and white flowers that I am um, doing the yellow now, I just cut those apart and using my glue pot, I'm just, you know, sticking, uh, putting some glue on the ends and then sticking those on there. And then now I'm doing the white ones. Those also came from Hobby Lobby. And so uh, when I just, I just kind of balance, try to balance it by just since I'm putting flowers all the way around my grapevine, what I do is I just, um, I work best with doing wreaths when they're on my table. I know that there are a lot of wreath makers that have their wreath on an easel and that is how they design their wreaths. I tried it, but it just doesn't work good for me. And so I am here to encourage you that if you want to get into wreath making, if you want to make a wreath uh, for your home, or if you want to do more uh, on the business side and sell them or make them for friends and family, you have to find what works for you. You know, my, what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. And so us uh, wreath makers or people who like to share different tips and tricks are here to encourage you. And so I hope that that is what you take from my videos. All right, so then now what I've decided is I have some of these uh, little bushes from the Dollar Tree and I just cut off a little bit of the stem and then I am just uh, adding those different pieces. I love these. They have them every year at the Dollar Tree. Walmart even seems to have some of those. Uh, they have like yellow and they have different, uh, just different 
flowers and greenery in there and so it just really makes it look really nice okay so then I have some of this greenery from the Dollar Tree and I just cut off the longer stem and then I have about three of those pieces that I'm going to stick into uh, glue into my wreath just for added uh, texture and definition and you know just cuteness okay so then uh, for my bow I'm not I'm just adding some small bows and I'm just attaching those with just little pieces of a uh, pipe cleaner. Okay, so I have both. Uh, these are one and a half inch ribbon. The yellow came from Craft Outlet and the uh, burlap a polka dot came from Sam's. And so what I'm doing, I'm measuring out 16 inches. I cut that off and then I dovetail the ends on them. And so I'm going to be putting a yellow and a burlap with the polka dot on uh, like one loop is is the burlap and polka dot and then the other loop is the yellow and it just kind of adds a little bit of interest you know kind of change it up a little bit and then I just put uh, bows like that like I said I attach them uh, sporadically throughout the entire wreath with just a pipe cleaner just to make sure that it was secure and I just love the way that it just adds just a different um, just texture and just different cuteness to my spring wreath. Now guys, don't leave empty handed. I have a library full of different grapevine wreath tutorials as well as deco mesh tutorials. I even have a wreath basics playlist that I will uh, include in the description box. You can check it out on my channel. I do love to do wreaths and like I said at the beginning of the video, I do sell them locally in my hometown. Thanks so much for watching guys. We will see you in the next video. All right, God bless you and have a wonderful day. Thank you.